right, we've got one more speaker before we get to the open mic. It is Melanie Stovall and Craig Johnson. They are from the Sustainable Design, excuse me, Melanie is the Sustainable Design Director for AIGA Minnesota, and Craig is with Agency F Design. Please give them a warm welcome. Hello. All right, so I'm Melanie Stovall. I'm the Director of Sustainable Design for AIGA. AIGA Minnesota is a national design organization, um, and we're 100% volunteer. Um, there's a multiple different committees within AIGA, but there's a design impact initiative, and within design impact, there's sustainable design and design for good. So my committee puts on events that either promote professional development in sustainable design for designers, and we, then we also do events where we educate the community on environmental issues using design. And hello. <coughs> um, I'm the former sustainability director for AIJ in Minnesota and uh, principal and creative director of Agency F uh, Design in Minnesota, or in Minneapolis, St. Paul, um, and a recent graduate with a master's degree in s sustainable design. Um, Uh, so going back to talking about Sustainable Design Committee, um, we do a variety of events every year. We kind of um, base it off of who we think um, would be a good partner um, or just people who approach us. So we've worked with Bogo Brush, if you know who they are, they make sustainable toothbrushes um, and they donate everyone that's for every, for every toothbrush they sell, they donate one to someone in need. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about how we met Eureka Cycling at an MIA event and the Straws project that we did. Hello? Okay, sorry. Um, and Agency F Design is a uh, sustainable design, well, a company that works towards sustainable design, um, not limited to graphic design, but um, design of all sorts. Um, and we'll talk about one project that I worked on with that. Um, this project is uh, the paperler, paperless poster project. And so uh, it all started with um, <coughs> the Seward Co-op in uh, the Twin Cities. And as they were remodeling, um, they were working toward getting a LEED certified building and wanted a division between the streets and the people eating in the restaurant area. Um, we didn't want to use toxic PVC vinyl. Um, that would only add or take away from their LEED certification. So um, we were charged with coming up with the solution and that was a non-toxic water-based screen printing method um, that we applied to the windows, which actually turned out to be better than vinyl anyway because um, they were semi-transparent, there was a beautiful glow in the building. Um, the, it was inert, so you could basically scrape it off and have about a dime size amount and get rid of it. Um, and this led to a later event with AIJ Minnesota where we were hosting the green drinks and thought, you know, how, with, with all these projects, I guess the real thing to take away is um, looking at what the goal is and thinking of how you can um, remove what, what's possible to work towards zero waste. So in this case, um, you know, what could we look at? And we needed to communicate our message and we want to do it as, you know, close to zero waste or non-toxic as possible. And so one thing we thought was really unneeded was the paper in the poster. So with that, we um, just quickly um <coughs> created posters that just sit right on the glass. They actually got more attention than any of the posters we would have put up with tape. Um, they come down easier. Um, they're not toxic. They have lower impact. Um, and that spawned off doing other projects with like a VEDA for an Earth Day event. Um, um, other businesses that didn't want final graphics. Um, and leads to this. 
So um, we, AIJ Minnesota recently partnered with MIA. Um, for those of you who don't know, it's an art museum in town, and they do a third Thursday event. Um, and it was the art of sustainability. So we decided to do a project around educating people about um, how wasteful straws are. My committee came up with the hashtag straws suck. <laughs> so uh, what we did was use, <laughs> we were trying to get people to think about life cycles. So we used the straw as an example. Because once you tell somebody to think about like where something comes from, what it took to make it, all of the energy involved, then they start looking at everything else. So um, we did a couple of things. We screen printed little cards, um, and they were all in the back of test print and posters, so the, they were reusable. And then rather than having a pledge sheet, we actually made a rubber stamp, um, which was also reusable because it's made out of letterpress type. Um, Bill Moran from Hamilton Ink Spot just like duct taped that together for us, and we used that. <laughs> yeah, it was real, uh, real good. Um, but we had people stamp their hands because our thought was if we made a pledge sheet, we would just throw it away at the end of the event. Um, if we do this, we're giving somebody something to take a photo of, and then they'll share it with their friends. So this is us stamping people and telling them to post the photos. And then um, as we were going through social media, even at the event, we saw people putting up their pictures. And it was really, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, it was just a really good way to show the value of design, but then also... Um, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, going through our questions, um, basically this is an example of the impact of design and how you can use it to um, get people to think about different things. Um, do you want to... Are we over? Okay, so if you want to know the answers to our questions, you can come find us after. <laughs>